Grammar checking tools provide some new opportunities for students to get help with their writing, particularly during the editing phases. But grammar checking tools are not perfect. Let's listen to some of the things that current grammar checking tools can do, as well as what they can't. Grammar checking tools have been around for a number of years, just like spell checkers. So what I'd like to do over the next few minutes is really talk about what grammar checkers can do. And we'll look at built-in grammar checkers in word processing applications. And I'll show you examples of Google Docs, Microsoft Word, and also Grammarly. I will also talk a little bit about some more advanced grammar checkers or automated writing evaluation and feedback that these kind of tools provide. As Professor Chappelle indicated, these grammar checkers are oftentimes used in the editing stages of writing. So what I have here on the screen and what you have on your transcript, which you should download so you can follow along, is a student text that was written by a student with an IBT TOEFL score of about 80, maybe 85, and he was taking an ESL writing class at a major U.S. university. And um, this is what that person was able to write. So take a look at it, read it, and think about what kind of feedback you might give as a teacher. What I'm demonstrating here is a series of word processing applications that are frequently used. And what I did is I copied and pasted the text into Google Docs, which is what you see here. I also copied it into Microsoft Word, and then I copied it into Grammarly, just to show you what kind of feedback uh, these tools provide in terms of grammar. Now, the first one, Google Docs, as you can see, is fairly simple in that it doesn't really provide any uh, grammar feedback. Even when you click on spelling, it will tell you that uh, all the words are spelled correctly, but there's no feedback on, on grammar. When I paste the exact same text into Microsoft Word, as you can see here on the screen, um, you can see that several highlights are made, uh, underlined in blue and some in red. Uh, as you can see, homeworks, which is a plural verb, which should not be in plural, it has an S on it, it should just be homework. Um, but it also underlines um, several other items here. Actually, it's underlined a couple times. Um, and, you know, in this case, the grammar checker identifies uh, redundancy. You know, some of these words are not necessarily needed in writing. So rather than saying, actually, I attended, you know, why not just say, I attended? Or actually, these kinds of skills, um, we could just say, these kinds of skills. Or as a result, so, so there's some uh, feedback here. Um, Microsoft also picked up on, uh, in the third paragraph, when I begun the study in the U.S., really should be when I began the study in the U.S. So it underlines errors and uh, does a fairly good job at underlining at least some of these errors.